Hey everybody, what's up? Resonator Zen here. Now, I already did a news uh, video, but I thought I'd do another news video because this is pretty pertinent because it involves Israel and the United States. And the United States, I should say. Um, and it's... Uh, the article I'm reading is called Israel and U.S. Row on Settlements, which is an argument. Um, <laughs> so, during a visit to Washington, the Israeli foreign prime minister, the foreign minister, I should say, Avigdor Lieberman, uh, said that they, Israel would not accept a complete freeze on settlements. Standing right next to this mofo, is the U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, and she said that she reiterated, in fact, that the U.S. wanted a complete halt on the making of settlements. Um, she also went on to say that Israel leaders had often, in the past, staked out positions that had changed over time. Uh, I'll quote her. We want to see a stop to the settlements. We think that it is an important and essential part of pursuing the efforts leading to a comprehensive peace agreement in the creation of a Palestinian state next to an Israeli Jewish state that is secure in its borders. That's what she said. Um, Lieberman, not Joe Lieberman, but uh, Vigdor Lieberman, insists that national, natural growth, settlement construction with the, within the boundaries of existing settlements, will continue despite U specific U.S. calls for this to end. Uh, they don't have any intentions of changing the demographic balance in Judea and Samaria, which is the West Bank. Uh, we think that in every place around the world, babies are born, people get married, some pass away, and we cannot accept this vision about absolutely, completely freezing settlements. Um, on Sunday, after weeks of heavy U.S. pressure, the Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, publicly supported the Palestinian state under certain conditions, um, but he even he said, the natural growth of settlements would continue. Um, all of the settlements in the West Bank, even East Jerusalem including, are illegal under international law. More than 450,000 Jews are living in the West Bank. Well, I like to see that Hillary Clinton and the United States is taking a firm position on wanting them to halt making settlements and stop continuing growth of the settlements as they are. <clears throat> uh, I really think that they should stop making new settlements, but the settlements that are already together should stay the size that they are. Um, if they get any bigger, you're going to be encroaching, and people are going to get pissed off in the West Bank, even more than they already are. <laughs> um, it doesn't seem co... Uh, it doesn't seem like a good idea. Sorry, I had a brain fart. Um, it's just nice to see that Hillary Clinton is actually saying, we want a halt. But uh, the last part of that article that said that all of the settlements in the West Bank are illegal under international law. I don't get why we don't have an international police force of, um, of the UN going in there and tearing out the settlements. I mean, if they're illegal by international law, there should be an international inquiry and stop these settlements from existing or try to find a peaceful uh, conclusion to these settlements having them move, move back to <clears throat> uh, Israel something I, really that, that these illegal settlements that are illegal under international law are still standing and still prospering is amazing to me because they're illegal under in, international law you'd think that someone in the international community would say, let's go just fucking run these motherfuckers out of town. That would be my first fucking impulse if they were, in, if they were, if they were illegal under international law and I was a leader of a country, I would go to the UN and say, Israel's doing some illegal shit of international law, let's go in there and fuck that shit up. Just my suggestion, really. We should take an international stand on what Israel is doing and what Israel has done and take a fucking stand and come out with a firm solution. Either tell them to get the fuck off the land, create a Palestinian state, or fucking make it not illegal. Either way, do fucking something. I'm more leaning towards the latter, the, the uh, before that, 
uh, before the last one where I said that we should just go out and fucking burn these cities to the ground. <laughs> now, I didn't say that, but I said run them out of town, get them out of the settlements, stuff like that. Get them out of the settlements and bring them back to uh, Israel. Because if they're illegal, stop them any means necessary. But try to do it a peaceful way first, then resort to violence. But that's been news brought to you by me. Put a link in the description. You can read the article even though I read it verbatim. Uh, give you my opinion. Give me your opinions on the topics. Give me your opinions on the topics of the Israeli settlements, Israeli misconduct during the last ground campaign into Palestine, um, and all of that shit, alright? So peace, love, harmony, and here's the peace in the Middle East whenever that might fucking come.